Welcome back, everybody, to the next episode of Battle Brothers here on the DF16 channel. We've got our crew of four. Oh, yeah, we lost. Losing one of our gladiators last uh, time... Almost makes me want to restart here, but... Right. Uh, we took a delivery job here. So we're going to go all the way over here and deliver that, but... Uh, no more farming money at the Colosseum here, at the arena. Ouch, that, um, that is not good. That, uh, that brother, I mean, we needed the three gladiators to be able to keep going in the arena and taking those fights and getting gold and, um, yeah, randomly losing that guy, I, I don't know... Well, we'll see. It, it, I don't know if it's even salvageable here, but we'll try. Another mercenary crew going into the desert there. Okay. Delivering our cargo. Looks like a level 2 job here. A caravan job. Uh, Weidefeld. Two days of travel. Okay, I accept, but let me think about that. Oh, man. Only four men here. We have to hire some more dudes, but nobody's going to be able to replace that that guy I lost. I mean, I could take a disowned noble for a grand. I need somebody good. I need somebody powerful here. Oh, man. Eighteen a day, huh? Um, should I try this guy? Roderick the Disowned. I'm gonna buy a really expensive brother here and give him a shot. Um, and let's see who we have. Oh my god, you dumbass. Oh, this guy's useless. <laughs> this guy is useless. Alright. Uh, the ranged stars. Totally useless. I, I can't do anything with that. That is unfortunate. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> oh, no. This guy's gonna die quick. And I just threw away a thousand gold. Um... Could give this guy the big sword, the two-handed safe. He's got a scimitar. Uh, beautiful dagger that we can't use. Okay. Uh, that's five men. Should I take one more guy? A slave, a cripple. Let's see, we've got this guy out here as our distraction. He's pretty bad. The peddler. There's Malik. He's great, but took that... Uh, Took that shot to the eye, and uh, now his range skill is way down. We were going to make him a, uh, a ranged bro here. Uh, or, you know, a thrower. Thrower brother. Take a slave. Could take a caravan hand. Sure, get in here. Uh, yeah, not super impressive, but hey, we'll take it. Uh, this guy's got the nomad mace. 30 to 40? Yeah. This is way better. Um, oh, man. Um, this guy's fatigue is way down because of this thing, right? This guy's got more fatigue. I'm actually going to put this guy in the front rank. Okay. I'm going to take this caravan job. And we're going to go for it. Off we go. Let's see if we survive this. Uh, six brothers makes me feel pretty good. We've got... Eee, what? We're paying out almost 200 a day? Oh my god, our renown goes up. There's no money for anybody in, a, in the retinue here. 
Uh, 187 crowns per day. Jeez. I might just go broke before I get to the next place. Wow. I actually might run out of, right, run out of money here. I didn't realize... Yeah, our, I know our main guys are super expensive. 74 daily. 74. Wow. You just can't afford to have... Uh, any other expensive bros here? Should I sell some stuff? I don't think it's gonna make a difference. I can pay for my men one more day here. And that's it. By midday tomorrow, we're gonna be officially broke and uh, they're gonna be angry. Hope I get to this town before midday here. Oh, there it is. Oh, just before midday. Whew. Okay, you have work, delivery. I don't care what it is, we're taking it. Uh, we have food, we have tools. I don't think I need anything else. Food's really cheap here. Okay, I'll buy one stack of food. Okay, take it to the east, to Kadim. Oh boy, that's kind of far. It looks like there's a, a base here. Maybe we can check this out along the way. Maybe we'll pick up some money. Some thugs and a few raiders. Can I take thugs and a few raiders with these guys? Maybe. I'm gonna go for it. Um, I hope. I hope we can. We'll see. Oh, this guy's got throwing axes. These guys are all rabble. I don't see any real defensible position here to pull back to. I mean, we can go back over here among these stumps and whatnot, but I think I'm going to try and hold right here, so that means we're going to have to charge these guys. And that guy's going to come in and hit him. Okay, let's go here and wait. And yeah, now we can charge. I'm going to have these two guys go here, so maybe this guy comes around here? Guy's gonna hopefully lead them off. <sighs> okay, there's a stun at least. I'm gonna put this guy all the way up here, I think. Okay, this guy's now gotta be stuck there. Okay, hits me with a throwing axe. Okay. The Simtar. Cleave! Nice. Bleeding. Oh, stunning both. Nice. Taking that guy out. Oh, and then missing the stun guy. Oh, that's big damage. Okay, that guy switches. Uh, this guy should probably bounce. He's got, like, no armor. Nice, that guy goes down. Okay. This guy can get in here. Nice. Oh, there's the bandit. Okay. This guy's got no armor. Can he stop this? Oh, and I just went right. Yeah, I just realized it was his turn was next. I should have been a little bit more careful there. Nice. Nice. Okay, easy. Okay, this guy's going to be a problem. Uh, go up here. He's still bleeding. Okay. There's the stun. Nice. Now let's bash his brains in. Oh, so this guy's still. Whoops. There it is. Okay. Some light wounds. Not a big deal, and we get a bunch of stuff. 
which is great. 61 crowns. Every crown helps. There's Ubaid Ibn Taib. This guy was the uh, caravan hand. He levels up. Um, his stats suck. Give him Pathfinder or just Colossus here? Maybe just Colossus? Holy shit. Brutal. Am I really going to go for a 1 here? Ugh, I can't do that. I just can't make myself do it. Okay. Savage. Uh, this guy can have a better dagger. This guy's got a knife already. This guy can have a knife. Actually, it should be that guy. Let's give it to the noble here. Yeesh. Okay. I mean, I could give one of these guys a pitchfork. Uh, the pitchforks are so bad. In order to attack over the top? I think I'm going to leave it. Okay, let's keep going. We've got lots of food. We've got tools. So we're going to Kadim here. Let's keep moving. All the way to Kadim, but man, uh, just losing one of our gladiators that early, uh, you know, that's pretty much game over. I, I think I should probably restart it, but we'll play it out here, see how this goes. Because, yeah, our troop is, we're, we're paying a ton of money, and they're not very good. We've got two actual good fighters, the rest are mediocre. Seven nomads. Um... This guy's still pretty hurt with a cut artery. Could leave him out. Nah. Let's get in there and wreck. Wreck some people. Uh, this guy can pull back, I think. Mm. Nice. Big damage there. Spear wall there. These guys can come back. Uh... I'm going to put this guy here and then this guy here. Yeah, these guys can't get by. Nice. Wait. Oh, breaks right through my shield wall, huh? Okay, that guy goes down. This guy waits. This guy waits. Stun. Good hit. Okay, I'm going to have to go help that guy, I think. Um... Nice. Okay, and this guy can help him. Hitting, but no stun. Damn. Ooh, that guy's in trouble. Yeah, they're just going for my weakest guy, as is tradition. And they're gonna kill him. And there goes one of my guys. Dah. Ooh, lucky. Stun me. Oh. There we go. Get a little edge on that guy. Wait. Okay. Nice. Nice. There we go. With the high ground, it should be easy peasy here now. Nice, that guy tries to run. Okay. There we go. Get ready to hit this guy. There! Okay, we lost Zahiri the snake, our caravan hand. Ooh, got a lot of stuff here, that's good. Gonna get ready to do a big sell. We can give this guy a better hat. 50, 40, yeah, let's give him the 50 here. Roderick levels up. Let's give him an extra level. Skills. Skills are good. 
Ugh. Pathetic. Mm, his initiative sucks. 68 initiative. Uh, could give him a brawny. Anyway, I was gonna give him dodge. I'll give him quick hands. No. Because we're, yeah, with that missing eye, he's never gonna be a thrower, brother. Quick hands is kind of a waste there. Pathfinder? Sh sure. Or dodge? I don't know. Let's give him dodge. Whatever. Okay. Uh, so these guys, this guy's got a 40 helm as well. Uh, the scimitar. Yeah, I guess I'm going to keep it the same. This guy's armor is, is garbage. I should probably give our front rank guy a little bit better armor. Back rank guy doesn't need it. Yeah. Oh, and why does this guy... Oh, because his melee skill was lower? Huh. Maybe I should make Malik the... The main dude here. Yeesh. Before melee, okay. Or I give this guy just a pitchfork and have him be an over the top dude. Maybe that's better. Ugh. He could also be our distraction, bro. That's not bad either. Yeah, let's make him the distraction, bro, here. Okay. Uh, to Kadeem. Oh, boy. What a mess. Yeah, the distraction, bro, you know, it's an important part of this early game, I think, and using a, a brother to distract if you have a small party. But if your party's strong enough, then it doesn't really matter. We don't need a distraction, bro, but we are not strong. Okay. Do our delivery, get some money. We've got another job here. Uh, nomads. Oh, boy. It's good crowns, but I don't know if I can do that. Let me think about that. I have 980 gold. I could hire some men, but they're all going to die. Yeah, level two job. I'm I'm not gonna be able to kill to drive off nomads, I'm pretty sure, but Ooh, an assassin. He comes with a smoke bomb or something? <laughs> I love it. Um Should I take a slave along with me here? Or just like somebody like this? Super cheap. I'm gonna hire a couple cheap bros here. And we're gonna try and take these nomads. Oh wow. This is the, the, the servant, but he's actually not bad. And this is the slave. Okay, the servant isn't bad here. Um, I guess I can give him a... A pitchfork. And then this guy. Uh, I don't have much for him to wear. Uh, oh, this is still on that guy. Yeesh. Maybe just give him a spear? Yikes. Don't have much armor here. Okay, let's take these guys and go do it. 
I ex uh, oh, I accept. Good. Uh, we have tools. We have food. I don't need to spend money on anything else. I will buy a net or two, though. And this guy is going to have a net. Mutar. Could even give this guy a net, but I think that's probably crazy. Okay. Roderick, Aslam, and Malik here. Um, I don't think I'm going to give anybody else a net. Is there a temple here? Armorer, alchemist, and weaponsmith. No. And then it's expensive <coughs> to travel. So let's get out of here. We're going to go smash this bandit camp. There it is. Uh, no idea who's there. Let's see if we can get a scouting report. If there's ranged guys, I want to attack it at night. Uh, okay. Some cutthroats and some slingers, yeah. So let's set up camp here. We've got a guy healing anyway, right? This guy's still healing. One to two days. Okay. Nighttime. Let's hit him. Oh, hit him. The nomads are surprisingly stationary and surprisingly many, but it appears there's a reason for that. You find the sand dwellers huddled around a large hole in the ground. They've constructed pulleys around it and are working feverishly to drag up whatever it is they found in the desert. Based upon the grin of the man overseeing the operation, it is no doubt a trove of treasure. You could attack now and face more opposition, or you could wait until they're done and have left with whatever they're digging up. Oh. Let's wait. You wait for the nomads to pull the treasure out. As expected, it is a chest. When they break it open, there's a hint of satisfaction on their faces. And as also expected, the nomads split off with a contingent of their strongest men moving off with the treasure, presumably to sell it somewhere. The nomads' camp is weaker now and far more vulnerable to attack. Yeah. Sucks that we can't um, take the uh, treasure as well, but I don't think we're strong enough for that. Um, I don't... I think, yeah, there's not going to be many men here. There's the outlaw. The rest of them are pretty weak. Stunned. Okay, this guy runs. This guy can spear wall, try and protect his flank here. Okay, here they come. Let's wait. Okay. Um. Net that guy. Oh, come on. Can't finish the outlaw off. Okay, let's go up here. Get ready to strike next turn. That can come down. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this guy's already moved, so let's get up next to him. These guys breaking. Good. Okay, that guy breaks away from his net. I stun him. It doesn't work. Okay. I can ignore the guys that are breaking, actually. Nice. That was our distraction bro here. There we go. Okay, and those guys are fleeing. Run them down. Not the most, uh, you know, stellar victory here, but yeah. We get some good stuff. Reinforced helmet, not bad. The whip. So let's see here. We have a skill. Yeah, like this guy could easily take the whip. Mm. And maybe I give him another net? Yeah, let's do this. Give him the Qatar dagger as well. 
Patal Dagger. Uh, now this guy has no more. Um, who's our best guy here? This guy is one of our best guys. I guess this is our next best. D2. Yeah, this guy. So let's give him the nicer helm here, I think. And maybe the better armor? Yeah, this guy can have that helmet. This guy's the better helmet. The front rank guys need the better stuff here. Um, and I could turn one of these guys. Like, this guy could easily be a... Um, a you know, a, a back rank pitchfork guy, but... His skill is so low, I, I think I'm just going to leave him with a spear for now. Yeah, we're going to sell all this other stuff. Okay. Yeesh. Missing my third gladiator big time here, but that's okay. Let's go back. We get 720. Paying out 187 a day. God, that is... Paying a lot here for these men. Not much we can really do, though. Uh, I can't fire my gladiators, so we're just... We're stuck with them. Um, let's see if there's any more work. Otherwise, we're going to have to go to the next town. Yeah, no... Oh, there is a job here. Caravan. Where? Uh, Suderfest. Two days to the west. Let me think about that. Could go down to the other town. Suderfest is over here. And then that'll take us down to Kabira here. Maybe I will do that, actually. Uh, let's see. Do I sell some stuff here? Probably, right? Uh, we don't need this. Don't need this safe. Simtar is nice. I will keep a Simtar. Is Simtar better than Falchion? 35 to 45 for the Falchion. 20% ignores armor, 70% effective against armor, 6 fatigue. Same fatigue, 70, 20, but the other one just does more damage. So the Simtar is better, yeah. Um... I have a lot of maces. I'll get rid of one of those too. There we go. Let's run it like this. I'm going to keep the shields. You tend to go through shields pretty quickly. I'm going to buy a couple nets. Could, I should buy some better armor here for somebody, right? Like this guy can have something decent. Actually, this guy should have the better armor. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I could even give this guy a pitchfork or something, but... I think I'm gonna leave him with a spear. Okay. Mm, get some tools, and let's do it. Okay, uh, we are gonna give somebody a net, though, right? This guy's got a net. Um... Maybe I should give this guy a net, too? Hmm. No. Let's just run it like this. We'll be fine. Oh! You come to an old man standing in the middle of the road, his body leaning against a walking stick. He's staring up at a road sign. He shakes his head. I know there's a sign here. I think Kronenkoog is that way, if I recall correctly. He turns to you, grinning, his eyes glint white, blinded by old age. A very nice, very expensive-looking jeweled ring glistens on one of his bony fingers. That jeweled ring handed over. Nah, travel safely, old man. Krunenberg? I don't see any places called Krunenberg. Seven nomads. Looks like they're hitting us. No, they don't want none of it. Oh, I could have fought them, but no, they just stand still. That was very strange behavior from the AI there. Brigands. These guys don't hesitate. Okay. There's only six of them. But yeah, they're pretty well armored. Hmm. These southern mercenary caravans, though, are much better 
Like, these conscript conscripts are much better than the caravan hands the northern places usually have, right? Okay, let's wait here. Um, I want to take this high ground, but then this guy's just going to get slaughtered, right? I think I'm going to wait for the uh, conscripts to move here. Yeah, they move in. They've got a nice little bottleneck there. Yeah, those guys take the high ground. That guy goes in a really terrible position there, but... Um... Yeah. Start pushing this guy. This guy is basically surrounded. Let's see if we can knock the weapon out of his hand, and we do. This guy's effed. That guy is in deep trouble. Mm, I'm gonna come down here. Let the conscripts do the work. He tries to punch the conscript. Ooh. Is that me? Oh, that's Mutar. That's my guy. Damn it. Okay. Is that guy gonna go take the... the donkeys out? Ubaid doesn't know what to do. Hmm. Should I engage this guy? Alright, let's get back there and help him. Uh... Yeah, we'll go up here. Oof. Shield wall, but taking another hit there. Yeah, let's just put another body on this guy. Nice, good damage there. Ooh, big bleeding. Oh, that guy's gonna die. He's gonna get one more attack though, unfortunately. Uh, barely did any damage. The whip not super effective here against uh, against armor. Okay, that guy's slowly dying. Good. That guy flees. Conscript coming back to help. Oops, I shouldn't have moved in there so quickly. There we go. That guy's fleeing. Want my kill. Missing the stun. Good. This guy survives. Let's pull Mutar back. Uh... Yeah, barely doing damage through that armor. Oh, we should be killing this guy with... Uh, with daggers, I just realized. Yes, I want that armor, I think. Actually, the conscript's probably gonna murder him, though, right? God damn it. Nope. 31. No, the conscript doesn't attack him. Oh no! He tried to auto run. Great. Yes! Nice! The whip kill. Okay. Got some experience. Mutar levels up. Okay. A little bit of armor. A couple of boar spears is not bad there, too. Uh, definitely gonna give this guy a boar spear. Aslam levels up. Uh, this is one of our slaves. He's a brute. On a hit to the head? Wow. 15 extra damage. Give him Colossus here. Jesus. Terrible. Get his morale up a little bit, I guess. This guy could be interesting. I think I am going to give... Uh, this guy was a servant, Mutar. But he's got some good numbers here. So let's... Uh, let's give him the XP bonus there. Oh. And our meat sack leveled up. Uh, nine lives. Pathfinder. 
Meat Sack probably needs Pathfinder, right? Let's give him Defense, HP, and Morale. Okay, so we've got a little bit better armor. That's nice. I can give this to him. Uh, actually, I should give it to this guy. There we go. Have our boar spears here. We have a couple nets. This guy's still got his net. He doesn't need anything else. Roderick, the disowned noble who's superstitious. I think I'm going to change anything else. That looks good. Carry on. Oh, did we get some supplies there? Oh, got some salt. Perfect. Can sell that. Yikes. Here's midday. Payday. Oof. I don't think... Can I get in here to trade? No? No, apparently not. I was, I was gonna say, I don't think we can get a great price here at these forts. We should probably just go down south to the city-state again and sell that stuff. Yes, we get paid. This place will have some cheap tools, I imagine. Yes, pick up a couple tools. And yeah, we're gonna sell this stuff, but not here. Let's go down to Kibira. There's no work here at these forts, so go down to the city-state here and see what uh, what kind of work they have. We'll also sell our, our salt and a bunch of these weapons that we don't really need. Um, currently paying out 188 a day. Not amazing, but ugh, there it goes. There, There's the tick. Okay, bunch of work here. Good harvest. Okay, so food will be cheap. Wow, super cheap. Almost half price. That's crazy, actually. Holy shit. Um, okay, so let's sell some of this crap. We don't want that. We don't want this. Uh, I don't think I need these. I have a bunch of boar spears now. And we can sell that salt. 454. There we go. Okay, let's look at our team one more time. This guy's got a 20. We can give this guy a 30, I guess. I'll sell this 20, probably. Uh, I don't think I can pass up food that cheap, so I'm gonna pick up one stack of food here. Let's see what the work is like. Caravan job. Uh, to Weidefeld, two days travel. I accept, but let me think about that. I accept the, the terms. Uh, you're scaring my bird. Nomads on the periphery of these lands. 700. That's what I'd rather do here, so let's accept that contract. We have nobody injured. Uh, I could go to the arena, but too late for that. I maybe should have looked at that first. Um, and we've got seven men. Do I run with these seven, or do I bring one more man in here? Maybe I run these seven, and I just give them a bit better stuff. Could give somebody a new set of armor here. A 125 helm. Hmm. I feel like maybe Malik should have a Simtar here. Instead of the mace. I don't know. I have a lot of dudes with maces here. I'm not, just not sure if I want that many guys with maces. Should I take another brother? Just for this fight. I like seven. If I go to eight, I don't know. Maybe there'll be more enemies as a result, right? Historian. Mm. This is here the unfree. Nice. Hmm. Um, the gladiator. Sadly can't replace what we lost. Yeah, maybe I'm just going to run this with seven guys. A level two job. Hmm. I don't know why, but I feel like I should take one more dude. Uh, Zahiri. Hmm. 
Wow, I'm torn here. I don't know. Should I pick up another slave? I think I will. 50. Not the worst. Okay. There we go. Alright, that'll have to do. Uh, let me just see him one more time. Club-footed. Wow. And he's a bleeder. Jesus. At least we're not paying him. Maybe I should be switching these guys, to be honest. Okay, you get that. And then this guy can take... Simtarnet. Okay. That's better. Okay, where is this place? Let's go smash them. Um... I don't know how many nomads are here, but hopefully we get a scouting report. Okay, no ranged dudes, so let's hit this now. There is, you know, could be a potential for throwing weapons. So let's wait. Yeah, we'll wait till nighttime. Uh, if some of these guys have throwing weapons, then I'd rather they have a penalty to their throwing. Okay, I assume these guys are going to rush me. It's an 8 on 7 here. So let them come in. This guy starts booking it. Hmm. I think I am gonna move up here. Wait. I want a couple more of our dudes to get in here. Okay, this guy is gonna go here, put up the shield wall. So this guy can go here and spear wall, make sure nobody can flank him. Missing the stun. There's the stun on him. Net him. And this guy... Missing. Okay, now this guy can hit him, get that nice shot there, now that he's surrounded. Okay, the other guys come in. Okay, that guy's stunned, but continues to bleed. Let's wait here. Let's push this guy back and spear wall, I like that. This guy can spear wall, let that guy come at me. Okay. Uh, 48 to hit. Nope. There we go. Uh, let's actually stay where we are. Mm. Trapped in the net means he does less damage. But I don't think he takes a penalty to defense, does he? I'm not even sure how that works. Maybe? Oh, I pierced his hand. Perfect. Yeah, that'll reduce his melee here. Um, I can attack, but I'm only 27 to hit. I'm just gonna go shield wall up here. Yeah, that guy misses the stun. Okay, this guy has no defense, so I'm just gonna sit him over here, get ready for an attack next turn, I think. Yeah, I can't attack if I move one more space, so let's just wait there. Shit. Oh, no way. The stun? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, that's brutal. Um, 30 to disarm, 44 to disarm, 50 to hit, 64 to hit. Nice. Disarm that guy. Crap. Okay. That guy misses. Yikes. Nice. That guy goes down. 
good blocks. Yes. That guy's fleeing. That guy's fleeing. Yes. Okay. Let's go help him. Okay. There it is. Easy. Wow. We barely took any scratches there. Ooh, and 105 armor. Nice shields. Great. That was actually really good. Very smooth. Um, I could equip some of these shields, but these guys don't really have the... Well, I guess this guy does have the, the stamina for that. But I'm looking at this stamina here. This guy might be able to take a, a proper shield. 72... 54. I mean, this guy's using a two-handed weapon. So yeah, I could give this guy a better shield. Or this guy. Put him to 64. Yeah, let's just give it to this guy. Okay. Nobody leveling up. Uh, we do have 105 armor here. Could give that to one of these guys. Like, this guy's armor probably needs to be replaced. Give him another net. Nothing else I need here. Let me give this guy the bandages. Just in case. Okay, back to Kabira. Not bad. Good little outing there. Eight men doing the job. So level two jobs are doable here with eight, looks like. Mm. I'm going to ignore those nachos. Uh, the, the roaming beasts are almost never worth tracking down and killing unless you're getting paid for it. The, 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 the loot they give you is so terrible. Uh, so, let me think about this. This is going to Wiedefeld. All the way up there. Okay. I think I might go to Hakim al-Ramal. It's been a while since I've been there. And go sell some stuff. Um, so, we had dyes we were going to sell there before, but it didn't really work out. Mm. Hold on. Let me just check my relationships again. Which city are we friendliest with? Kabira. Hakim al-Ramal is second. So yeah, this is our friendliest, you know, area. I, I should really be selling my stuff here. I'm gonna sell all this crap. Mm. Sell that. I'm gonna sell all that stuff. So, I tried to figure out whether they had what we what we were selling here. Like, their silk farm, uh, dye maker. So, there's dyes, silks, and incense here. Meanwhile, this city has incense. They have a plantation, so they have dates. Silk and incense. So, they shouldn't... They don't have dyes. So, I'm very tempted to buy a stack of dyes to sell. I think I did exactly this last time, and it didn't work out. Um, 490 I'm paying for this. I think I need to get them a little bit lower before I do that. I'll buy another stack of tools, though. Uh, yeah. Don't want any more men. Let's see, is there anything I want to repair here? I guess I'll repair whatever I have here. Okay. Let's go to Kabira and see what's up. Um... I don't know, this, this troop, we're spending so much money per day because of these gladiators that are taking up, you know, 70-something crowns each, um, that I, I can't really afford to spend much time exploring. You know, you can't be, like, running around looking... Like, you, you basically have to go from job to job to job to job. You can't take any breaks. Otherwise, our money just disappears so quickly. So, there's an, like, there's an argument for taking that caravan job at the last town, uh, but I think it's going to be fine. God damn it. But if we get here at night, that's bad timing. Shit. They do have a job here. Indebted. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go beat them down. Uh, we can do this while we're waiting for the market to open tomorrow morning. You find the indebted sitting amongst desert rocks, and they do not rise to your arrival. Instead, one man comes to you. Despite his powerful build, you sense that he has come to barter, a diplomatic tongue needed in all his muscle. 
Crownling, I figured you would come. My name is Rasil Al-Baji, the chosen leader of these freedom seekers, insofar as the open cage is the leader of the bird who wishes to fly. You arrive to us by way of the Gilded Road, led by the chain of unseen gold, promises which you cannot guarantee to be kept, and it is upon these forgeries of agreement, these misunderstood arrangements, that you are to come and kill or capture us. Is that so? You nod. Rasil Al-Baji nods back. So it is. Before we commit ourselves to our agreements, ourselves to be masters of our own hands, and yourself slave to the mighty crown, let me try and negotiate in a manner which you, crownling, will find beneficial. The man kneels. I am the scion to a lost family, to a lost heritage, to a lost estate. These people, these men, are my family now, but from my previous life I have something which you may find valuable. He holds out a piece of paper. Let us go, and I will write upon this paper here the location of treasures which you cannot find elsewhere. Attack us! and I shall take my family's final heirlooms to the grave, and gasp my final breath, not in concern with such lost riches, but with to breathe the fierce fire of freedom itself, glistening in my lungs, the pain preferable to the comforts of any chain. Um, okay. Well, he tells us about uh, an area. I, I've done this before. He, he basically gives us the location of an area that has really good items, but it's also really well defended. I think I'm just going to crush his rebellion. All right. He sticks his hand up, but you do not stick out yours. Instead, you draw your sword. The rebellion's leader nods. All right, you're forbidden to leave the cage of the crown, I see, and you are bidden to the glistening of the gilded road. So urgent your enslavement, so captured, that when the gate is open, you do not open your wings. Instead, you settle for a mere hop to the master's finger. A battle treat us well, crownling. Yep. I need the money. So, appreciate the uh, sentiment, but 12 indebted, or 12 slaves. These guys should be pretty easy to dispatch here. Okay, is this the guy? Oh, Nomad Cutthroat. Yeah, they don't have names, right? Indebted. Nomads. Some nomads and indebteds, yeah. Mmm. Wow. There is a lot of them. Okay, this guy can run. Let's wait. Okay, this guy goes here. Oh, you like that whip? Is that the familiar sting of the whip on your back, you filthy slave? Oh god. It, it's, it feels horrible being a southern... I'm just like murdering these... like slavery and, and all the crazy shit that happens in these southern city-states. I feel bad killing slaves, but... Um, I don't know. Do I have a choice? <laughs> Hmm, guy stabs me. Wow. Lots of dancing around there. Ooh, this guy's breaking shit, right? Forgot he's a uh, dastard or whatever. Okay. Let's go this way. Okay, chopping through them here, but this guy's got a block here, otherwise he's in deep trouble. Oh, good block. Oh, good blocks. He's doing it. Nice, that guy should bleed out. The whip doing its nasty work. Okay. Oh taking some damage there nice these guys are done oh these guys are coming back just in time good another one goes down there there we go Okay, this guy can hold back. Got a... Did he have a missing finger? Oh, pierced hand. Damn it. They're running. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna catch them here. Oh, caught this guy. Is 
This guy, see here, he's got a club foot or something, right? Yeah. So he's already to so tired, he can't even... Club foot on the sand has to be pretty rough. Okay, we should be able to move faster on the road than they are on the grass, but I don't know. We're going to find out. Clubfoot ain't catching anybody. Run them down. Okay. Oh, man, we're not going to catch them, are we? Yeah, even on the road, it's it's too much. Okay. Oh. They're just ahead of me. Yeah, they're gone. Okay, no big deal. Some weapons, but they were slaves. We didn't do it for their loot. You stand over Razil al-Baji. Despite his fondness for freedom, the rebellion's dead leader is not smiling in his final liberated moment. His face is wrenched in pain, and he has wounds which reveal the slick patterns of that which folds beneath the flesh. But his eyes, there's a spark there staring up at the sky. A shadow crosses his eyes, and you look up expecting a bird, but there's nothing. When you look down, the spark is gone, and the dead man is just a dead man. Our work is done. Okay. 230 crowns. No more slave revolt. A man in chains meets you outside Nasir ibn Mansur, the master astrologer's rooms. He has a chain attached to each arm. One chain runs to the wall. The other chain rankles across the floor to a chest of crowns. Both chains are held by a lock, and this man has the key. He stares at you, his fingers gripping and ungripping the key, his breath uneven. He finally squats and unlocks the lock to your chest, which you take up and step back. The slave hold the, holds the key at his chest and he glances at the other lock and he folds his hand around the key and bows his head and there comes a noise you're not quite, quite sure what to make of. A guard tells him to keep it quiet. <laughs> Jesus. Horrible. Uh, okay, let's wait for dawn when the market opens. There we go. No more work here, but can we sell... Yeah, they don't have dyes here. The other stuff is way too expensive. Uh, yeah, the prices are not great here, so let's get the hell out of here. There's no more work. Off to... Uh, back to Kabir right here. I could cross the water to Kadim, but there is a caravan job in Kabira that we could take. Let's just go back there. Headed over to uh, Hakim al-Ramal to quell their slave revolt. Now it's back to Kadi Kabira to take a ride on the caravan. A life as a mercenary is... Uh, yeah, it's an interesting one. Alright, Kabira it is. Okay, ooh, a new job. Uh, the crownling arrives. Serpents? Oh dear god. I accept, but not a chance. Not interested in serpents. I will do the caravan job, though. We have eight men. We have some loot to sell. I don't want any of this crap. Uh, don't want that. Mm. Let's keep all our shields the same color. We've got, yeah, we've got ten shields. Let's use ten shields here. So we can sell the other ones. Take some nets. One more suit of armor? Yeah, one of these guys could use this suit. Actually, this is 110, this is 105. Let's give this guy this one. Uh, actually... There, that's better. Okay, we've got an extra suit of armor. This guy doesn't deserve anything, so he can, uh, he's fine the way he is. Uh, that looks good to me. Gonna keep that last set of armor. Don't need to buy any other brothers. Off we go. Caravan job. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. We've traveled okay. There's eight nomads. They're gonna swing. Yeah. Archers. Ooh. Yup. Okay, fortunately we have some conscripts, so this is gonna be a tough battle for them, I think. Okay, let's just wait, see what they do here. Conscripts lining up. 
Um, again, I think we're gonna wait here. Let's see how they come in. Okay, conscripts moving up. Brave, I'll give them that. Damien just rushes, rushing forward, rushing to kill those archers. This guy can stay back over there. Okay. I think I'm going to help these guys hold this flank. So this guy... I'm going to come here and just spear wall, actually. Okay, these two rush. While the rest of them... Uh, yeah, this guy comes in here. Whip guy on top. And then this guy can come in here and get ready to throw net at somebody. <laughs> this archer doesn't shoot, he runs. Ooh, destroying his shield. Ooh, two of them going for the, the donkeys here. Okay, we need to help these conscripts out. Otherwise, these guys will overwhelm us after. Okay... Hitting him. Okay, this guy goes up here. Knock his weapon out. No. Uh... There, whip and kill him. This guy pressures him. There we go, that guy's fleeing. Okay, this guy gets up behind there. Okay, that guy throws sand. Ooh! Shit. I gotta stop that guy. There we go, right on the head. Ooh. Yeah, smashing them. Oh, that guy's got so many stacks of bleed on him, it's crazy. That guy's done. Go this way. Taking all the kills, huh? That guy's gonna kill the donkey. Yep. Shit. Oh, that guy, Conscript, jumps in there. I love it. Missing. Okay. Ooh. Stun him. Nope. This guy's too exhausted to do anything. Good. This guy can go up here and hide. I'm worried about this guy. Yep, he's dead. So losing one dude there kind of sucks. He had to take him on on his own there, but um, yeah, that's not cool. Nope. Okay. And that guy can just wait. Okay, this guy's gonna die. Well, Ubaid goes down. We get his helmet back. Get a bow, I guess, but... Not amazing. Uh, Mutar levels up. Got a pierced hand right now. Minus 20 melee skill. That's why his, his melee looks so bad there. Double levels. Okay, give him some initiative. Might give him dodge after this. Uh, this guy levels up, which is nice. Let's give him dodge. And I'm gonna make this guy a thrower brother here, I think. Okay. And then Aslam. This is the slave. Okay. Not bad. Hold on, I'm going to give him morale, actually. So, melee, yeah, his morale is so pathetic. Okay, underdog? Damien the lion getting underdog there? Uh, very nice. Okay, that's huge. Uh, let's give somebody a nicer helm here. Like, this guy can have a better helm, which makes this guy have a better helm. Oh, Zahiri. Take some more HP, buddy. You, you got wrecked in the last one, didn't you? Um, okay. Okay. Repair that. Four spears. 
I guess this guy could use a boar spear here. Okay. This guy's still got his net. Let's keep going. You come across a man in military garb with a pair of similarly dressed guards. Between them is a man with his arms and legs tied akimbo to a giant mortar. His torso facing into the barrel, his head resting atop its sights. He looks up at you with a side eye. Ah, traveler, I'm in quite the predicament. You see, these fine muted gentlemen wish me to wish to splash me across the sands using the great Oh, this is the guy tied to the cannon talking. These fine muted gentlemen wish to splash me across the sands using the greatest technical marvel of our age. Whilst I can see the benefit of avoiding the executioner's rusted sword, I must confess that to have my final moment be one of watching my own body parts bomb the desert creatures, to be one of severe embarrassment. A fair penalty for some crimes, no doubt, but I'm a mere thief. The military executioner glances at you, but just as the thief said, he appears to be a mute, or possibly deaf, as his role as mortar man might imply on, his, on, on, on its own. So, he glances at me, but these guards apparently are deaf or mute, they can't understand. What is your crime exactly? The executioner surprisingly answers, plugging one ear with a finger as he talks. Groundling, this does not concern you, move along. The thief tries to turn his head again. Ah, ah, he speaks! Wonderful. Let us hash this out like good gentlemen with sensibilities kind to, but also ahead of our current era. The executioner ignores the thief's articulate pleas. I shall make a deal for your neutrality, Crownling. When this thief is splashed across the desert, you may have whatever is inside of him, for you see, it is said that he carries a heart of gold. The thief nervously speaks. That means something else where I'm from. Oh, the executioner says to me, I'll make a deal. When he's splashed across the de desert, you can have whatever's inside of him. That means something else where I'm from. You ask the executioner to explain. He states that the Gilder touches those who oppose him, condemning and dooming the hated with insides made of gold. The condemnation is a level beyond being merely indebted. It sounds rather fantastical even for you. Carry on with the execution then. You need to stop this execution. Should I stop it? There's no reason to stop it. The thief even admits that he's a criminal, that, that, he's, that, he, that he's a thief. Might be an opportunity to pick up another brother. I'm gonna stop it. You inform the guards of the executioner and the end executioner that you'll be stopping the execution. They immediately stand back from the mortar. The executioner plugs his ear again. A stay of execution? Or did you say to start it? The thief nervously laughs. Yes, Crownling, please clear that up for our friend here. The matter is settled slowly and for all to hear. Surprisingly, the guards agree. They see you not as a random intervention, but as one sent from the Gilder himself, for why else would you be there? The thief is cut free from the device and he is handed over to the company. He holds his hand out. All funny business aside, I'll fight for you, uh, hmm, the DF-16 squadron. Quaint. But I'm no ordinary thief. I'm a man of pride and a man with a sense of duty and a man with a sense of crowns. Welcome to the company, I suppose. Okay. We pick up Faris Al Rundi, the thief, who does not have great stats. So, guess what, thief? We stayed your execution only for you to die another day. That's right. You're gonna be, you're gonna be a meat sack, bro. Mm. Should I give him a spear for now? Fifty-seven isn't bad. I'll give him a simtar here. Okay. How much does he cost per day? 12. Okay, sure. I mean, getting a free brother is worth hundreds, right? That's worth hundreds of crowns because, uh, yeah, you often don't, don't get free brothers. You have to pay for them. Two or three hundred or 150 or whatever it is. These guys look pretty well armored. Uh, we have our conscripts, though. They all survived the last battle and they all get all their health and armor back. We only have two donkeys, though. Got to be careful. Okay, let's hold back over here. They're pushing. Yeah, the conscripts don't really hold back. They just charge. So I, I really do need to support them here, I think. Hmm.
Why is this guy's... Why is he wavering already? Did he become... Like, why, why is he starting wavering? Hold on. Does he have some stupid... Oh, the Daster. This is Malik. Right. I gave him the... The Golden Helmet. Okay. Zahiri is not in great shape here. Pierced cheek and pierced leg muscles. Let's just keep him back. Okay, this guy can get in there and get some, some licks in here. Let's just wait, though. Wait. Whoa, nice shot with the, uh, with the, the torch there. And then Malik took a hit on the head. Okay. Bleeding? Okay, get that shield up. Nice shot! Those fire spears are nasty. Okay, get in this guy's face. Um, got to be a little careful with our with our homie here. I don't want to get too close, not yet, but soon. This guy as well. Like I can't get in there now and get, do a, you know give him an attack. So I'm just gonna hold there. Try and knock his weapon. Ow! Oh, that's the conscript. Okay, that's fine. Wait. Good shots. Ooh, broke my shield. Rude. Okay, let's get back over here and help him, right? Can't kill him. Conscript stealing all my kills. There, and now he's fleeing. Okay, run them down. Nice. Okay. Getting a little bit of loot there. As we carry on. Wow. Repelling all the bandits here. Multiple attacks on our caravan. Don't think anything I picked up is worth equipping here. So we'll keep everything the same. Up to Viderfeld. Viedfeld? Weidfeld? Weidfeld. This is a big caravan. Okay. Oh, unholds? No! Oh my god. The head of the wagon train almost seems to cry as you reach it. He less, he says he lost some good men back there, and the lost carts will cost them dearly. You don't care. I guess I should thank you anyway, Sellsword. We didn't all die after all. Unfortunately, I can only pay you so much. Oh my god. 195. Okay. Should I take these unholds on? There's a bunch of people here. I think I'm gonna ignore them for now. A delivery job, yes. I accept. Okay, so we're gonna leave it here. Uh, we'll stop the session. Actually, not a bad session. The money keeps going up. Our crew keeps getting better and better equipped. Might be able to salvage this one. Stay tuned and find out. Hopefully you have a great week. Peace.